Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we are going to review about surat Ad-Duha One of the one of the content of surat Ad-Duha first four Please listen to me and look at in this first A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Walal akhiratu khairul laka minal ula The meaning is And in it, the year after is better for you than the prison How are the effort in order can prepare for life In the year after later, according Surat Al-Duha verse 4, the answer is on Surat Al-Duha verse 4 explains about and in it the hereafter is better for you than the prison. It means life in hereafter is better for you than in the world why because like in the world i'm sorry because life in the hereafter more long than in the world and human must responsibility in his deed that they were done and long as long life in the world so as a Muslim, must prepare our life in near after. Please, attention, we can prepare for our life in here after. Please, one, increase faith and taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order closer to Allah. Second, uphold our salat five times. Third, multiply worship and dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fourth, always do good deeds in the world. And the fifth, always give charity to other people who need it. The last, avoid, for, avoid from the bad deeds, hurt disease and sin in our daily life. Now, please look at these questions and answer by yourself. Pay attention to the following hadith. Al-Yadul Ulya Khairum Min Al-Yadis Sufla The meaning is, hands on is better than hands below. How are the efforts in order can construct your behavior according to this hadith? Please answer this question. We will continue in the next review. That is Surat Ad-Duha. The last verse. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Wa amma bi ni'mati rabbika fahadith The meaning is Into the favor of your Lord Then you should tell. It means Allah gives great pleasure to his servant. One of them is Hidayah. They were that not everyone gets it because it is only the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Hidayah can be achieved by certain people. So now, please construct how 
are the effort of a servant to get hidayah? The answer is, please listen carefully. Allah will give guidance or hidayah to the servant he wants. As a servant of Allah, must effort to get hidayah from Allah, such as first praying and asking for hidayah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the main reason to get his guidance or hidayah second always rely on and depend on Allah ta'ala to achieve it and not really on one's own abilities third always follow and hold fast to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a whole physically and mentally fourth reading Al-Quran and complete the meaning of it fourth sorry fifth obey and emulate the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sixth follow the understanding and practicing of the companions in religion seventh imitate the behavior and morals of those who were pious for before us eight believe in the destiny of Allah ta'ala correctly and the last be serious in following the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and always try to practice the causes that bring and strengthen then guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now please look at these questions and answer by yourself Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith that's meaning when the descendants of Adam dies disconnect all the charitable except three there are sadaqah jariya useful knowledge and soleh child who pray to his parents the question is construct yourself to be a soli or soliha child Okay, we continue. We are going to review Surah Al Insyirah, first one. Before that, please look at this Surah and the Ayat. We read together. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Alam nashrah laka sadrak Listen to me The meaning is Did we not expand for you O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam your praise The question is How are the effort in order can construct your behavior accordance in Al-Quran Surat Al-Insyirah First one the answer is on Surat Al Insyirah first one explain about did we not explain for you O Prophet Muhammad your breast in order be patient to facing trials or problems when dakwah or CR Islam so guys as a Muslim must construct the behavior in our daily life such as please look at the first increasing faith and taqwa to Allah in order closer to Allah the second clean the hurt from her disease third always be patient to facing trials 
or problem in our daily life. The fourth, always give forgive to other people. The fifth, not easy to angry when there is trouble in daily life. And the sixth, always cause no doubt to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and other people. Okay. And the last, never give up in facing problem in daily life. Now, please look at these questions and answer by yourself. Pay attention to the following first. Wa ila rabbika farghab And only to your Lord should you hope. Answer this question. How are the efforts in order can construct your behavior accordance in Al-Quran, Surah Al-Inshira, verse 8? Now we continue in the next review, our review about two cases. Please listen to me. Okay. Compare the following cases. First, Susie is a student that is diligent to study hard, but she performs sunnah like duha and tahajud and rarely to do it. Second, Sinta is a student that is diligent too. She performs sunnah like duha and tahajud, but she is seldom to study hard. Please listen to me. How to answer about two cases? First, we must describe about the first cases and continue to kisses. Okay, listen. This answer. Susie has good character because she is diligent to study hard, but she is lazy to do worship. She rarely to perform sunnah like duha and tahajud. The second, the cases of Sinta Sinta has good character because she is diligent to do worship to Allah, to perform sunnah, duha, and tahajud. But she is lazy to study. Even to she seldom to study hard. After we answer the cases, we describe one by one. After that, we must give conclusion about two cases. The conclusion is, as a Muslim must do with balance with word of fire and hereafter a verse, and as a student must effort to study hard to achieve his dream, and to forget to worship and pray to Allah in order to become success people. Now, please look at these questions and answer by yourself. Compare the following cases. First, Aldi always completes his assignments in school on time. Even though he comes from a poor family, he still has a patient for learning. Second, didn't always delays his work at school so that his tasks are never completed. Even though all school needs have been met by their parents. Okay, we continue in the next hour review.
please listen to me. We often hear the advice to support our friends, right? And sometimes we don't understand how to sympathize well to the orphan. The question is how to sympathize the orphan well? The answer is listen to me. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not give an example in detail on how to sympathize orphans. It is clear how to support orphans is to glorify, pay attention, give love for the needs of his life like eating, drinking, clothing, shelter, his education, his health, and everything he needs to be a righteous, independent, and useful child. Now, please look at these questions and answer by yourself. Therefore, treat not the orphans with oppression. So, now please answer this question. Why should we take care of the orphan well?